Hi, this Karnataka CT application is out. The dates are June 16 to 17 for the exam dates. The link is mentioned below. In this video, I'm going to talk about two things. One is how you can get a good rank in Karnataka CT. And second is what can CFL do to get you that rank? Karnataka CT will determine, give weightage to 50% to the board marks and 50% to, to your marks in Karnataka CT. Now, you know how to do well in the board exams. The strategy is pretty simple. I'm not going to talk about it. I hope that you score 90 or 95 or above in the board exams. Now, what you probably don't know is scoring 90% or even 80% in Karnataka CT, that's scoring around 150 marks, is not very easy and probably less than 100 people do it. So what is the strategy that you should have? First, you should know what your target score is. If you want to be among the 100 students in the state, you should score above 150 in the Karnataka CET while topping the board exam as well. If you want to have a rank less than 1000, you should score 120 to 130, depending on the difficulty of the paper. I would say 130. And if you want to be at least in the 1000 rank, you should have somewhere between 100 and 105 to 110 marks in Karnataka CT. You should see that just having 10 marks or 20 marks low will push your rank in thousands. So doing, having a few things, having a few things in place to do well in Karnataka CT will put your rank in the top thousand ranks. So here are the tips for you to be in the top thousand ranks. First tip is you need to give a mock test a day after your board exams. When you're giving the your mock test, you have to have a strategy in mind. A strategy will be unique to you, okay? No, and I don't know you well. Depending on what your easiest subject is, it could be chemistry, physics, math. Take on the easiest subject first, okay? And even when answering the easiest subject, answer the easy questions first. So your strategy, if your easiest subject is chemistry, you would take on chemistry first, followed by physics and then math. And even when doing chemistry, take on the easiest questions, and then give the easiest questions of physics, easiest questions of math. Come back to the harder questions of chemistry, harder questions of physics, harder questions of math. That is your strategy. And as you give this mock test, you need to refine your strategy so that you follow the same strategy on the examination date. Okay. Now, second topic here. What is CFL going to do to get you those marks or get you that rank? CFL has planned a series of mock tests for free. It's on its website, cflinit.com, ct.html. Every day, between 10.30 to 11.50, there will be a mock test. And then a second subject mock test, between 2.30 to 3.50. The schedules for these mock tests is mentioned below. Please look at the schedule. Now, after the mock test, in the evenings, on its YouTube channel, the senior teacher will come and review that paper. When it's reviewing the paper, it'll review the questions that most of the students have got wrong, five or six questions. And then it will review four or five, or the teacher will review four or five questions that is important or tricks and trips for those questions. One hour session. So pretty much four hours and 40 minutes a day of practice is planned by CFL from May 20th all the way to your examination date. This should be sufficient to get you the marks or the rank that you desire in Karnataka CET. You know. We all know that practice makes perfect. And I hope you practice sufficiently before your examination. Wishing you all the best for your Karnataka CET. Thank you.